Hi, it's Keith. I'm with Lee um, in the UK uh, Service Centre at our head office. And um, we're looking at the Cure software. So this is actually the very first training video. We've got video set up with the Cure. We've got one of them set up. Um, say hello, Lee. Hi, everyone. So um, we're going through the basic function. This is the opening screen. So you can see we've changed it. Um, we can see the solar, wind turbine production, AC load, the grid, the battery load, um, the battery status, and smart link. So we've got that on our, on our opening screen. So there's quite a few things that we've been asked about. Now, obviously, we've, we've got we've, we've put on here this status LED, and if you've seen anything, the Cure is important. The, one of the major things about the Cure is designed to run with our AI, and if you see some of the videos, the AI software is amazing. So let me try and run through some of the basic functions of this and the setup. Um, so the three lines at the corner, if you press that, it goes onto this sort of navigation page. Um, if you click back onto the home page, and it's really nice actually. The um, the touch sensitive sens touch sensitivity of the screen is beautiful. It looks amazing. The resolution is absolutely superb. You know, when you look at a screen like this, this, this is an industrial LCD, so it's designed to last for many, many years. So let's click the three lines at the top here, and we see the quick control. So the quick control is something that people ask us for a long time. So it's quick access, it's things like, if you want to force, force battery charge, you can click it, click it on and off, this is bass force. If you've got a generator and you want to start your generator automatically, you can click here, click it off, force generation, generator. Bleeper override, LCD sleep mode and also here if you want to allow it to be used on a remote control or if you don't want the remote control so it's a very quick control unit and for most cases this is all people will ever need to use so it's quick access have you got any comments on that at all Lee? No the the forced battery charge was something customers requested quite a lot uh, so this is what we've tried to do to implement this as a quick easy way of charging the batteries up. So, um, so this is. We, we, I think bleeper is a question people sometimes want to turn the bleeper off. So I think what we try to do is listen to what people were saying and put them on. So let's let's escape back here and then we'll go back onto the. We'll, we'll look onto, onto the navigation page and we'll look onto settings. So settings has got a lot of stuff on here now. Um, so let's start off with a basic setup. Uh, click on basic setup and we've got this basic basic setup page. Um, you've got your language, your remote control. My favourite bit is the light bar. This, I think, is I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, some people don't have this type of function. I think I really like it. So, if you click on here, and this gives you some options. So, this is how the light bulb can, the light bar can function. And of course, we've got a, a simple slider here to change the brightness. Look at that, isn't that, isn't it nice? <laughs> um, so, tell me a little bit about you. You've got the battery charge, grid connection, or system load. Yeah, so there's three different functions you can put the light bar in and it will operate according to the three separate functions. So for battery charge, uh, it might be easier if I show you the information section we've got on it. So on the information section, we're showing it as in battery charge where the light will show different colours, pulsating and solid, uh, amber or green, dependent on the SOC of the battery. Uh, but if you have it into system mode, it will also do the same whether there is grid connected or no grid connected. And then if there isn't a fault, it will show as a red light. This is great. It's really, really, really nice. So if I, so if I change this over to battery charge status, in fact, you, and I, I can press um, enter, you always press enter, uh, and it says yes to confirm it, and that's in battery charge. If I want to change the light bar, say, to system load, so there's no load at the moment, and I press enter, yes. Okay, and oh, you see, wow, it's changed colour, beautiful. So this is now showing, it's showing this orange, this, this means there's no load on it. There's no connection. Right, okay, that's why it's showing orange. So there's lots of different things on this. This is it's really, really nice. And of course, you can change the brightness and high, low, whatever you want onto this LED bar. Um, this is your, your time date settings, which is pretty standard with most of the stuff. Um, your name, of course, people want to put the name. Um, mm -hmm. So the company name, so you can put your own company name. You can customize it to the, to the install installer's name. It comes up with an interactive keyboard on this one. Oh, so it's much easier to change the name. Much easier than using the up and down arrows. <laughs> it's a massive improvement. So, so I won't go pro, I won't, won't waste your time, so I'll sit there typing somebody's name into it. So escape, but you press enter. Um, so languages for the more different languages. We're going to add lots of language packs to it. Um, so there'll be lots of new languages coming into it. The moment is we've got, what language? We've got a number, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese. 
but it has the option to add language packs. Mm -hmm. So if there's other languages we need to add, then it's just simply about adding the language pack. Gotcha. And that's a fairly simple update. Um, I'll, skip, I'll skip twice and back onto here. So the grid setup, um, this is a lot to do with the grid code compliance. Uh, I can click on here, and then this is where you you would, you would set your, your type of grid, whatever you connect your IP. So here is uh, it's actually been set. As, this is actually set as the NRS 097, which is the South African standard. Um, but we can change we can change this, and in fact, there's a lot of different standards already built in, and you can choose the particular standard you, you're relating to. Yep. Um, I'll escape back. You've obviously got other things that you can you can do. You, you vault what uh, and, and 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 all the various stuff. But most of it don't need to touch, do you? Really? No. Um, it's it's fully configured, so it's there. If you had to make any changes, but it, it is fully configured, and you just simply select <coughs> the grid type. Let me escape it again. Um, going on to battery setup, um, type of battery um, shut down. So type of battery here. And then this is similar. This is very similar to the old system. Correct. And we've got three uh, functions at the bottom. So you choose your type first, then your parameters for the charge and discharge, and then the BMS error if you want that selecting whenever there's an error to show up as a fault in the inverter. Fantastic. So this is really, really, really simple. Um, so um, we, we go on. We've obviously got auxiliary load, um, and this is a little bit similar to, to, the, to the old system. Yeah, a lot of these functions are the same uh, as they were working already. Um, so we've just changed the color and made it more user interactive. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's very it's very clear. Yeah. Um, let me escape back again. Um, SmartLink. Um, SmartLink is actually the new system that where you can add. Um, basically gives you a complete home control. So if you're running it with the um, uh, artificial intelligence, and then if you're looking to save energy, you might want to shut down the water geyser or shut down your car charger or indeed switch it on your car charger switch on. And this is what the smart link is about. Mm -hmm. um, sensors. It's about, sen it's about sorry. sensors. Oh, I mean, sorry. And then we've got the sensors. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, jumping. Okay. So sensors is, is you can have smart sensors and you can have extra sensors as well. Yeah. So explain a little bit more about the, how this So on the smart sensors it's giving you the option to control loads within your house um, and turn them on via C and seeing them via the CTs themselves. So we've got two smart smart CTs, which can also be uh, when we say smart wirelessly uh, connected, which is a big thing that a lot of customers are asking for. Uh, to save the wiring through and the problems they have <laughs> connecting via that. So this is uses LoRa. Yes. So LoRa, the range of LoRa is quite long, isn't it? We, we tested. Yeah. So I've not tested any further than uh, 200 meters at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, well, there's not many people got the, the, their inverter is, is 200 meters away from but, their uh, their fuse board. Essentially, with LoRa, as long as you've got uh, a wireless router in the vicinity and it's all the way through, it will connect. So this allows you to add add extra CTs. So it's allowing you to put two extra smart CTs. So if you want to measure the power coming from, say, a generator uh, separately, or you've got a number, number of different things, this will allow you to monitor additional things. So you've got the CTs that come with the inverter, but this is add extra CTs. Yep. Um, so, and then we go back onto the um, Smart EV. This is, this is, so the Smart EV is a product that we'll be bringing out in the early new year, which is an EV charger that can be worked with, work with it. Or it, it's, a, it's a, something that can be added to it, or you're, indeed you can use an existing EV charger. But we'll, we'll get into this a little bit more. And then Smart Switch. Smart Switch is where I was getting slightly confused before, and is where you can control other loads in the property. So if you want to turn it on with excess solar, and you can pick and choose how to turn them on. So this is, how many smart switches can we add? We can have up to 10. Right, and, the, and these, are the, these are the menus, and you can, you can, you can set everything. It's, it's, it looks a very complicated menu, a bit like a, um, a central heating controller. <laughs> but it can do a lot, can't it? Yeah, we try to make it as least complicated as we can, but obviously have the functionality that you require for it. And this can all run from the RAI? Yes. So it can run from the SunSync AI, which is, which is, you know, this because when we were looking on the AI, we talk about saving up to 95% of your energy. 
Um, and if you've got solar, um, of course, in the in the UK, when there's no sunshine and it's just raining and it's miserable, we've got no sun. But you, you can save a lot of money because you're using the off-peak and using the cheaper electricity. Yeah. So there is, you will save an awful lot of money. Uh, and in, in countries with plenty of sunshine, then you, you're, you're almost off grid. So this is quite, quite, is there anything you want to, anything you want to add? Uh, uh, on this page now, I think we'll do another video more detailed uh, so, showing this. So we'll do an absolutely full on video about the smart switch. That, that is brilliant, that is brilliant. Um, and let's back, back up again and back up again. It is absolutely amazing. Thanks for following us and we will release a lot more videos. Thank you.